everyone. I am Miss Gally. I am here with you to do another activity. And we're doing a drum today. So I'm going to start with the big one first. Um, let's see how can we use it. We can use this one two ways. You can use it this way. Or you can uh, use it this way, make different types of beats. you you can create uh, any type of beats you wanted to I'm just gonna put those aside for now we might uh, use them in a moment uh, first you want to make a circle so the circle you are going to get a cardboard trace a circle I have a strainer to trace a circle so you're going to trace two circles because you need to I don't have enough room I have too much stuff around me and that is okay and then you want to cut around the orange line to get the circle you see the orange line you want to cut around this line until you finish the two circles. When you're done cutting the two circles, you will end up having two nice cardboard circles. And you wanna trace two circles and a cardboard too. When you trace them and cut them, you will end up with two nice circles also. So we created four circles now. So we're done with uh, the top and the bottom. Now, if you look here, we need to create the height. So you, what you wanna do is, you wanna get a cardboard sheet and fold it into half. And you cut it. pieces and you want to create two edges for your um, height you will get a ruler I will measure an inch from each side I will make my line I will draw the line here. I like to draw the line just to make uh, my life easier. When I cut something, it will be easier for me if I made a line. Okay, now I created my two lines right here. Then I need to make the edges that I'm going to bend to glue on my circles. So you will cut along until you, you hit the line you just draw for all of them, both sides. I am cutting two papers at the time now, just to make sure they both have the same height. You see, I have two papers. Now I wanna bend. I'm gonna bend the both of them also. I wanna bend in all the edges. I'm gonna bend both edges here and both sides. And then I'm gonna get one out, get a cardboard circle, and I will staple one edge to the top here. And 
and I will go all the way around until I finish the, this side and I will stable this edge too. And I will tape the bottom here. You can put glue before you tape, it's up to you. And then I want to add the other part the same way until I finish all the circle. And when I do that, I will end up with that you see i need to put pieces of cardboards inside my drum so i can lay that circle the top circle on it so you can just find out the height here what is the height and you cut a little bit less than the height so this is my height i will just cut a little bit less i will make a straight line just to get the height i need first And this is what I need. Then I will cut it pieces until I finish the whole thing. And then I will take the pieces and I will staple it inside. You see over here, I will put it and staple it inside. I will do this until I finish the whole thing. So all of it is going to have pieces inside, okay? Now, what you want to do is you want to put your circle in here. Let me get glue. Let's glue it. I will put the glue in here. We will put glue on all the edges of the cardboard. And then we're going to tape it. until it dries the end product is going to be a nice drum so I'm gonna tape all around you always can use glue and tape it to secure You see, we have our nice drum. Now we can put the circle in here. We're gonna glue it. We should let it dry for sure. And I will just make a bow around it. I like bows. Okay, this is the bow. Also, you can create 
an edge like I have here with mine. If you wanted to, you can just put glue in here. So when you put the glue, you just press a little so your papers stick. We need to leave them to dry for sure. I guess I need to add a little bit more, which is okay. I guess it's okay if we need to add more or if we have any mistakes, we can fix it. Do not get frustrated, it's okay. It's okay to make mistakes and change things on your way. And then we can just close these or bend these edges with glue. So here is our beautiful drum. We just need to let it dry. If you would like to glue the ribbon, you can. Now we need to create the sticks. So creating the sticks is really simple. So I have two sticks right here. Those are uh, skewers. I created one already. So what you're going to do is you're going to put rubber band around it. And then you're going to roll the papers. I always like to um, Make the top part a little bit bigger. I put a lot of papers around it. It will help us not to poke the cardboard or damage it. And then you're gonna keep rolling until you finish covering all the skewers and you just tape it maybe I need to just put a little bit of tape here Because these pieces need to stick more. Now you see, we created our beautiful drum and our beautiful sticks, and you can start playing with it. Okay, if you want to add uh, another layer. Of decoration you can if you like it this way you can I hope you like the end of product that we made this is a bigger drum I hope you guys enjoyed making drums with me today you have a wonderful day and I see you soon thank you so much for watching bye everybody thank you for watching bye